to warm up on elevator physics, and this is a kind of a complicated problem, so we're going to kind of take this step by step. So we have two elevators and two men, identical men, standing in these two elevators. One is elevator A, and one of them is elevator B. The difference between these two cases is that one elevator is traveling upward at, at three meters per second uh, at a constant velocity, and the other one is traveling downward at three meters per second at a constant velocity. The, the weight of the men, the gravity, the force of gravity on these two guys is 500 newtons, okay? And they're identical, okay? So the force of gravity on these two guys is 500 newtons. Well, you've never probably thought of it this way, but basically when you step on a scale um, and you weigh yourself, basically what's happening is the scale has some kind of electronic or spring apparatus in it, and it's basically measuring the amount of force it exerts on you to hold you up, okay? So that's your weight. In other words, it's the force it exerts on you to keep you on top of the scale, okay? So that's how that's getting that measurement. Well, if you look at this, the, the elevator A, the elevator is moving upward at a constant speed. Well, that's, if it's moving at a constant speed, that means the acceleration of the elevator is zero. Okay, B is also moving at a constant speed, but it's moving downward. Okay, and acceleration there is zero. Well, if you, if you look at this and you say, well, then if the acceleration is zero, if A is equal to zero, okay, then moving at a constant speed, If acceleration is zero, then the net force, the net force is going to be zero. There is no net force. Okay? So there's no net force. So there's really no extra net force acting on the scale. So down at the bottom when it says, will the scale reading in case A be greater than, less than, or the same as the scale reading in case B, well, the only force acting on either one of these scales is the weight of the man. And the weight of the man is 500 newtons in both cases. And there's no other net force acting because the elevator itself is not accelerating. Okay, so the man is not accelerating because he's in the elevator. Okay? So if that's the case then, if there's no net force, then the scale reading in A and B will be the same, okay? And they'll both be 500 newtons, okay? They'll both be 500 newtons, okay? So let's go to the next case, and let's talk about that. So here, we're going to complicate matters a little bit. In this case, both elevators are moving up, okay? The velocity is, so... In the same case again, the, the weight of the man is 500 newtons in both cases. An identical man in two identical elevators. The only difference is the motion of the elevator. In the first case, A, the elevator is moving upward, so it has a positive velocity. It also has a positive acceleration. Okay, in the second case, the elevator is also moving up at the same velocity, three meters per second, but it has a negative acceleration, okay? So we know from earlier work, we know from earlier work that in, in the first case, that the velocity is positive, the direction of movement is positive, and they're both positive signs, so elevator A is speeding up. Elevator A is speeding up because it has two positive, it has a positive velocity and a positive acceleration. It's accelerating, it's also accelerating upward. It's A uh, is, is positive or upward. Okay? Okay, so let's look at B for a minute. These two are opposite signs. It's also moving up. Okay, it's also going up, but it is, since these are opposite signs, it is slowing down. 
So the elevator is moving up, but it's slowing down. In the first case, A, it's moving up, but it's speeding up. So here the acceleration is negative and downward. Okay? Okay. Okay. So this has a positive acceleration. This has a negative acceleration. Okay? So in this case, if it's speeding up, upward, then if there's a positive ex uh, acceleration upward, then there has to be a net force. Here, there's an upward acceleration. So here, that means there has to be an upward net force, the same direction as the acceleration, okay? An upward net force. And that force, that the elevator would be exerting that force on the man, okay? In this case over here, okay, there would be a negative acceleration. There would be a downward net force because the acceleration is downward, okay? So if there's an upward net force on the man, then, and the acceleration is positive, it's going up, then this man, since, since the man is being accelerated upward and there's an upward net force on him, his force downward on the scale will have to be heavy to offset that upward net force, okay? So in this case, the man would be greater, would weigh greater than 500 newtons, okay? His actual weight would be 500. He would actually, the scale would be greater than 500 newtons, okay? In this case, where it's accelerating downward, okay, the net force is downward, so the bottom essentially is coming out of the, the bottom is dropping out of this elevator as it speeds up going, or as it slows, as it slows down going upward, so the net force is down, so in this case, his weight is going on the scale, his apparent weight on the scale is going to be less than 500. Okay? So in this case, because this is greater than 500, in case A, his, the, the scale reading for case A is going to be greater than the scale reading in case B. Okay? Okay? Well, let's go to the last case. Same case again. Okay? 500 Newton man. Identical. In identical elevators. Okay? Let's take it apart piece by piece. We have, in the first case, well, the elevator's moving downward. It has a downward velocity. Okay? So the elevator is going down. Okay? It's going down, and its velocity is negative. So this is a negative velocity, but its acceleration is upward. It's going down, but it's slowing down because these are opposite signs. Okay? It's slowing down. And it has an upward acceleration. Okay? So if it, the up, if it has an upward acceleration, then it has an upward net force acting on it. Okay? It has an upward net force acting on it. Okay? Because it has an upward acceleration. Okay? In B, it has a negative velocity and a negative acceleration. So it's also going down, just like A is. Both of these elevators are going down. But this elevator is not slowing down because these are both negative. It's speeding up. So again, it's speeding up. And as the acceleration is downward, the net force is downward. 
Okay? So in the case of A, the bottom of the elevator is, is, is pushing up the man and basically give, making his scale reading heavier. In the, in the B case, the bottom of the elevator is falling out underneath the man because it's accelerating downward and it's making his, his, his um, scale reading lighter. So in this case, in this case, he would be, again, a positive acceleration, right? In this case, he would weigh more than 500. Okay? And in this case, since the bottom is coming out, he would weigh less than 500, or apparently the scale would show him weighing less than 500. So in this case, it's the same result, okay? In case A, he would have a greater apparent weight or scale reading than in case B. Okay. Okay. So think about this a little bit. This is kind of a complicated pro process. And the main thing to remember is that you look at the signs of the velocity and the acceleration and you determine whether or not the elevator is slowing down or speeding up. And the, and the net force on the elevator is going to be in the same direction as the acceleration. And if the acceleration is upward and the other acceleration is downward, then he will be heavy. He will be heavy where the acceleration is upward, basically, essentially, you know, increasing the force he exerts on the scale downward. Okay? So if that's the last case, if you look at the middle case, it's the same, it's the same, you know, oops, I went too far. It's the same. You have a positive acceleration, a positive, a positive net, upward net, and that means it's greater than 500 and so forth. And that means it's greater than, okay? So take a look at this, give it some thought, and we're going to move on to the elevator lab.